Welcome to Seattle Onity Kids. My name is Daisy, and I'm so glad that you're here. Let's take a seat, get comfortable, give someone beside you a high five, air five for me, and let's get started. If you have not already, please sign up for VBS 2021. The theme will be Mystery Island. You can sign up at soc.kids.org. And if you can, please sign up by July 4th. That way we can prepare and make sure you all get a shirt. On July 5th, we are going to have an outdoor picnic. If you and your family are comfortable, it will be outdoors at Lake Sammamish State Park. We've reserved some picnic shelters. And if you'd like to join, it will start at noon and you can RSVP Teacher Sarah. And don't forget, join us at 12.30 for our Zoom service meeting. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, before we start this new series about the fruits of the Spirit, would you prepare our hearts? Would you help us to pay attention to open our minds? that we can hear what your message is and we can pay attention and that those messages that you want us to hear, that they would change us and that they would help us to be more like Jesus and that we will learn how we also can gain these qualities that Jesus had and that we would believe that the Holy Spirit is here to help, that we could be guided as we learn and develop more as we grow closer to Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today, we're going to start a brand new series on the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is a gift God gives us to help us live a life that pleases Him and shows His love to those who do not know Him. The fruit of the Spirit is not like the fruit we eat. The fruit is actually qualities of God. Throughout this summer, we will learn how we can develop these same qualities as we grow closer to Jesus. Today, we are going to talk about our first fruit of the Spirit, which is love. But before we start, I'm going to ask you to think about this question. Who are some of the people in your life that you love? After thinking about that question, you may have thought of a lot of different people who you feel love for, or who feels love for you. But what does the Bible say about love? The Bible tells us that love is more than just a feeling. Love is showing others we care about them through our actions. So today, we are going to learn more about how we can love others. The first fruit of the Spirit that we will learn about today is love. Now, before we start to learn about the first fruit of the Spirit, love, we're going to start with some worship. So everybody get up and let's praise together. Others see how much you care Even when I want 
to go my own way Jesus you make me strong no I won't give up even when it's tough I'm gonna shine my life for you yes I will do good and I will be kind I'm gonna shine my life Good job worshiping everyone. When we worship together, we can thank God for loving us unconditionally. Jesus showed us how much he loved us when he died on the cross for our sins. He did this because he loves us more than we could ever imagine. Our Bible verse tells us all the qualities we can develop when we have a relationship with Jesus. As we grow closer to him, the fruit grows inside of us so that we can show what God's love looks like. Now please join me as we read out loud today's memory verse. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5.22 Great job! Now we will sing a song that will help us memorize our memory verse. Kind 
We are now going to watch our Bible story about a man named John. He wrote many letters to many people who believed in Jesus. In one letter specifically, John talked about real love and he used Jesus as an example. Let's watch our Bible story so we can learn more about what John wrote in his letter. Slapstick Theater John's Letter About Love this is John. He there. John was a disciple of Jesus. He heard Jesus' teaching huh. Hi, yeah. and saw how much Jesus loved people. Wow. John spent the rest of his life telling others about Jesus. John wrote letters to people who believed in Jesus to encourage them and teach them. Hmm. In one of his letters, he wrote about real love. He said that we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us, so we should do the same for others. If someone has enough money to live well and sees another in need but doesn't help, uh, yeah. how can God's love really be in that person? John said, let's not merely say that we love each other, but let's show our love for people through our actions. Jesus showed us he loved us when he gave up his life for us. Jesus did this for us because he loves us so much. The Bible tells us that we should love others too. Real love is showing others that we love them through our actions. We can tell people that we love them, but our actions speak much louder than words. Let's check out this short film and see if you can spot how the child in the video put love into action.
the boy in the video showed what real love looks like. He offered his remote control car, the one that he liked so much, to the other boy in the video. He did not just love with his words, he loved through his actions. The Bible tells us that we should do the same, that we should care for others and show love through our actions. Remember, love is the first fruit of the Spirit. When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit will help us to have the fruit of the Spirit. So far, we've been able to see an example of what real love looks like in the Bible and also what real love looks like in our world today. Now, let's unpack the word a little more and see why love is so important. Love is showing others we care about them through our actions. Notice, love is shown through actions. The way John showed his love for Jesus in the letters that he wrote. Remember how much the boy from our video wanted that remote control car? Even though he wanted the present for himself, he chose to show love by giving it to the boy who had no presence at all. Love is a choice. And there are many ways we can show love through our actions. We can show love by doing simple acts of kindness, or by choosing to use loving words when we speak to others. By using loving words with others, no matter how good or bad they treat us, we are sharing God's love in the world. One of the best ways to share God's love is to give your time. Volunteering means to give your time to help others for free. You can do this in your church, at school, or even at home helping mom and dad. The way that you spend your time is an opportunity to show love to others. God's love gives us a purpose and it lets us know how valuable we are. The best thing we can do is to share that love with others. The act of sharing God's love with others inspires them to go out and share it as well. Jesus chose to show his love through his actions. And that is exactly what he wants us to do, to show love to others through our actions. Remember, love is showing others we care about them through our actions. We can choose to love others through our actions, the way Jesus chooses to love us. We should show love to others through our actions because that is how Jesus showed love to us. When we show love to other people, we are also showing God's love to others. There are so many ways that we can show love. Can you take a second and think about this question? Think of one way we can show love to others through our actions. Remember, it is easy to say that we love someone or something, but showing someone you care for them is through our actions. Just like we saw in our Bible story today, Jesus gave us a beautiful example of how to show love. 
Jesus loved us so much that he gave up his own life for us. We can accept the gift of salvation when we accept Jesus into our hearts. If you want to accept Jesus into your heart, to be forgiven of all your sins, to walk a new life, to grow closer to Jesus, and to grow the fruit of the Spirit, love. Would you join me in this prayer today? I'll put up the text of this prayer so you can also read this prayer to yourself if you choose to do so today. Dear God, I know I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe he died on the cross to pay the price for my sin and rose again. I want Jesus to come into my life and be my savior. I want to follow and obey him. I want him to be the Lord of my life. Thank you for the gift you have given to me and for preparing a home for me in heaven. In Jesus name, amen. If you prayed that prayer today, come at 1215 instead of 1230 to our Zoom meeting and you can meet with me or one of the leaders and we can talk more to you about the amazing decision that you've just made. I hope you had a great time learning about the fruit of the Spirit. When we make the decision to follow Jesus, He will help us to have the fruit of the Spirit like love. And remember, love is more than just a feeling. We can show others we care through our actions. Now let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear God, thank you for loving us unconditionally. That you showed your love through sending Jesus, your one and only son, to die for us in our sins. Jesus, we thank you that you gave us that gift, that when we accept Jesus into our hearts, that we also can build qualities like Jesus, that we can learn to have the fruit of the Spirit, that you give us the Holy Spirit to help us, that we can grow closer to Jesus and become more like him. Jesus, help us this week. Help us to find ways that we can show love through action, not just our words, whether that be helping in the house or giving grace to our sibling when they do something wrong to us. Jesus, would you be with us this week that we can grow closer to you and that we would grow the fruit of the Spirit, love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to encourage you to show love to someone this week. Don't just tell them with your words, but find ways to show them that you love them and care for them through your actions. God bless you all and see you next week. Here are some interviews about the fruit of the Spirit. Send in your videos answering these questions. What is love? Um, can I ask you a question? What is love? Um, um, cold <laughs> Love is when you give your heart to something and when that something also gives its heart back to you. Uh. Loving other people. How does it make you feel when someone puts your needs before their own? Feel, feel like I need to help them first. Um, I feel very special and cared for. How does God show you he loves you?
answering my prayers. God shows me His love by reminding me Jesus died for me while I was still a sinner. Yeah, being able to spend time with the people I love helps me learn more about how God's love is because I know that God loves them also. God shows me He loves me by answering my prayers. God, uh, by His actions, what action did he make that showed him that he loved you? His son died and our sins were all forgiven. Oh. God shows me he loves me by helping me when I need help. How can you show someone you care about them through your actions? How, Joyce, how do you show someone that you love them? What do you do? Um, um, <laughs> How do you show someone that you love them? Um, Goki. Goki? Everything's Goki? <laughs> uh, I can show them by <laughs> asking them if they need any help and uh, giving them help when they need it. Uh, maybe if they're feeling um, sad, giving them a, a hug or a pat on the shoulder and giving them loving, encouraging words. I can show others I love them by telling them I love them a lot. Being kind and gentle. Being kind and gentle. I usually show my love to my family by telling them I love you, I love you. I can show someone I love them by kissing them. By your actions. Oh, you must have been heard what mom was saying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Please send in your videos and we may include it in the next service video. Have a great day. Bye.